Good morning, everybody. My name is Anthony, home of Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Make sure if you have not hit the notification bell when you come through here, go back and do that for me, please, and share, and make sure to like the videos. I appreciate everything y'all have done thus far, but I definitely need y'all to make this thing jump like Pogo. <sighs> Am I still a Dallas Cowboy fan? Hmm. Thanks to Jerry Jones, my decision is still wavering. This is in lieu of what has uh, occurred with uh, the owner, Jerry Jones. <clears throat> Excuse me, just waking up. Gotta thank God. The decision with Jerry Jones, uh, the situation with Jerry Jones, where a picture has emerged of him attending the uh, Arkansas um, uh, school, uh, where um, there was to be an integration of uh, four black individuals in the school uh, about 50 something years ago, and Jerry Jones who was 14 at the time, was in attendance. And um, they asked him about it, and he stated that, in a nutshell, that he was just curious. He just wanted to see what was going on. Me, as a black man, if you were to ask me, I'm not saying that he was part of it, but when there was, there was so much going on at the time, in the South, during that particular time where there was a great deal of lynchings, and things of that, of that nature. It's uh, hard for me to fathom the idea that at this point in time, you hearing what's going on in the news and what have you, that you are attending a rally where you are being curious and wanting to find out. I couldn't see myself uh, attending a, a KKK rally at the time just to be curious. I'm not a part of it, I just wanna be curious. I'm not saying that he was, but um, if you're not a part of it, you know, you're not a part of it. You don't attend anything of that nature. So that just kind of put me at ease to hear something like that because um, not expecting uh, he as a white person to denounce, um, you know, racism or what have you because still today, there's not saying that he is, but that, you know, sometimes your actions do show. Still today, there there is uh, a great deal of, of racism that's still running uh, rampant and prevalent today because, um, you know, check out the news, you definitely see the situation. And as far as uh, not saying that we deserve an apology, but we, you know, it's, it, it would be nice to, to apologize to my people for the things that they, that, that, that other races have done because other races have gotten uh, apologies. Other races have gotten their reparations, you know, they make excuses when situations occur with, with other races, but when it comes to blacks, we just uh, are casted out to, to see, sort of. So that just brings me back full circle with the situation with Jerry Jones and he being the, the owner of Dallas Cowboys, um, whom I had been a, a fan for a long, long time. I think ever since 1979. Now, here's the deal. If I don't know such a situation, then I don't know. So chalk it up to me just going on with the situation. But if I continue to support something, knowing that it goes against what I feel, then I'm just ignorant. I'm, I'm just falling with, with the pack. Now, not saying that I'm a bandwagon because I do do my research and things of nature before I make any decision. And this was a pretty hard decision because I love Dallas Cowboys. But as long as Jerry Jones uh, <clears throat> is, is the uh, owner, then, hey, I have second thoughts about even supporting them. But not only that, there are numerous other occasions where um, I've been following the news where Jerry Jones didn't support anything on the racial uh, um, uh, on the racial side. I mean, there's a thing to come out and, and, and boldly uh, stand against, you know, uh, things that are, that are not uh, fair, things that you feel... Um, should not be as is, you know, I, I respect the person from that, but to hide behind any innuendos and uh, you don't know, really, you know, you play around with word play words and stuff like that, not really say what you want to say, that just leads me to believe that, hey, then maybe this person is a racist. Maybe this person is such and such. You know, I'm a straightforward person. That's the way I like to deal. So, you know, it, you know, anyone that, that, that I deal with, I expect them to be 
you know, at, at least straightforward. But if I find out, then I deal with them accordingly. But man, you know, it just, just goes to show you that no matter what, our people will still continue to be second class, third class citizens. People are not, not going to, uh, uh, you know, apologize for what has happened in the past. And, and, and they just feel that everything is everything. And I, that's why I admire my people in, in, in what they did in the 60s and in the 50s in terms of boycotting, not supporting. These people these days, my people, point blank, they don't do that. They, can, they, they check out a situation, they know this person may be speaking bad about what, you know, their race or just, just not really in the, in the, in the you know, in line of, uh, of what you feel. And they may, you know, not support them for, for that day or, you know, just briefly uh, boycott them. And then all of a sudden things go back to where it was. That's why I like my troopers back in the days. My ancestors, they were some, some fighters. And, and not trying to get off the tangent, but just to say all that, I mean, Jerry Jones has had this, uh, uh, ample enough time to to denounce racism. Um, he has a big platform, if that is, because the majority of the people that, that play for him are uh, African Americans, you know? And I wonder what they think. And that just brings me to another situation with uh, 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 LSU back in the day when Coach O was uh, over. And I don't want to go into that, but just sticking to the subject, you know, as of now, now I'm not a Dallas Cowboy fan. I got I got some thoughts to, to, to complete, some things to think about. You know, there's nothing wrong with, look, I felt that what, you know, what happened in the past was wrong. I shouldn't have been there. This, you know, just just fess up to it. But why do certain people, certain races, have a problem in owning up, you know, to something that 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 was messed up, and you know, then and still now? What's wrong with that? Black people are, you know, they we always the first ones to denounce something that 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 we feel is is um is wrong. So. What do you say? You know what I'm saying? So right now, like I said, as far as Dallas Cowboys, I'm not supporting Dallas Cowboys. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I love my team, but you know, sometimes within my my heart, I feel that, hey, you know, I ain't, I mean, I don't know if he's racism, but it'll be much easier for you just going out and say, you know, hey, I don't like black people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or hey, this was wrong. Instead of wavering, you don't have nothing to lose. You're an owner, you got money. Thanks for supporting Third Eye Visions. Again, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. And I'm out.